Moves, I hope you guys are enjoying this warm weather that we're finally getting now. Uh, it is crazy to think how close we're getting to summer. And after this week, we have one more week of content. And I wanted to challenge you guys and your leaders are going to get some more information coming up over the next week or two on this. Um, but we have, we're off for the summer for content, but we realize that you guys have uh, really dived in and uh, have good relationships with the people around you, and that shouldn't just stop for the summer. So um, if you guys are interested, we are doing three summer uh, kind of like gift packs that you can do something with your group do during the summer for each month, June, July, and August. So for the month of June, uh, you can sign up for a s'more pack that we make a bag and we uh, give it to you guys and you find some night in the month of June and you make a fire or I guess you could do it over the stove if you're boring or the microwave and watch explode. But uh, we'd love for you guys to just continue to meet maybe once a month over the summer. So if you're interested in those packs, uh, reach out to me or Chantel. And we would love uh, to make one of those up for you. For June, it's going to be uh, S'mores Night. For July, I believe it's a movie night. And then for August, we're going to do a ice cream social. So um, if you guys are interested in that, let us know. And we would love to uh, get those made for you so you can continue to meet together as a group over the summer. Um, and then there is some pretty exciting stuff that we're excited to launch this fall um, that we'll have more information out coming in a few months here. But I cannot wait for you guys to be a part of that coming up this fall. So so with that being said, uh, we are wrapping up this last two weeks. And in this week, we wrapped up our series on the judges. And you're probably thinking, thank heaven we're wrapping up the judges. Because it, it was brutal. Like what was going on in that time and the deliberate disobedience from God was hard uh, to read and hard to listen to it sometimes. But what we learned this week uh, from Eric and the words that Eric prepared um, is that we are given gifts, right? There are gifts that the Holy Spirit has put into our lives and we, we have a responsibility to use them in some way. Uh, for some of the characters in our story that we'll look at soon, um, for some of the characters in Judges, they did not use the gifts that God gave them wisely. Um, they used it for themselves and it actually brought destruction on themselves and the community around them. Um, but there's other people who use their gifts for the glory of God. And uh, we were left with the challenge of how, how, how are we going to use those? What does that look like in our life? What gifts do we have? And what does it mean to bring glory to God's kingdom out of that? So I'm excited for your conversations today. Kids, if you're in the room, uh, go ahead and look to your leaders. They'll have some kids questions for you. Otherwise, adults will jump right into groups content. All right, groups, question number one, and this goes back to the challenge from the last week. Um, did you notice the people around you in need? How were you able to come alongside of them? Question number two. What is one thing you learned through this series of judges that may have been completely new to you or something that maybe surprised you? The last two prominent judges in the book of Judges that we looked at were jo Japheth, Jopeth, Japheth and Samson. Uh, and question number three is this, what questions do you have over the stories of Japheth and Samson? And if you guys weren't in church this weekend, uh, have the other ones fill you in. Who are these two characters? What questions do you have about them? And how can you use the gifts that God has given you for his glory and the, the glory of his church? For number four, we learned uh, to lead like Samuel actually requires courage and humility. Uh, question number A in this. Number A. That's not right. Let's go with letter A. Letter A. 
What did you learn from the story of Samuel? And how might you act in courageous obedience and humility in your life right now? Is there a situation going on that you're like, I just don't know how to deal with it? What would courage and humility look like in your specific situation now? Question number five, how do you feel now that we have made it on the other end of Judges? The Judges was a hard book. It really is truly a hard one to get through. There's a lot of, um, a lot of truth that gets spoken in the book of Judges. Uh, here's the questions in this. Do you feel better prepared um, to talk about it to others? Is it Judges something that you feel like you could bring up now? Um, and what questions might you still have coming out of this book? Um, is there anything that's still worrisome? Is there anything that you're still like, I, I don't know about that. That, that still doesn't, doesn't help me right now. So have some conversations now that we're on the other end of that. What are your thoughts coming out of the book of Judges? All right, here is the challenge for this week. Choose one thing from the story of Japheth or Samson and um, apply it to your life. Is there something that as you were hearing about the story or as you were reading the story, you felt the conviction of the Holy Spirit? Maybe it just keeps coming back up in your life and you're like, maybe I'm supposed to be doing something about that. Is there something you feel like you should apply in your life? Um, Groups is not a spot to just speak those things. Groups is a spot where you hold each other accountable too. Right, so if uh, if somebody says I need help with this, I want accountability in this. As a group, decide who's going to check in with that person to make sure that that actually happens in the week. Because I'm I'm also guilty of this. You speak up in group and you say this is something I want to change, and then you never think about it again. Uh, what is so advantageous about groups is that we can hold each other accountable. Um, don't be ashamed where you're at. Uh, have your group hold you accountable to strive to be more Christ-like, to be transformed into the image of God. So what is it for you um, that from the stories of Japheth and Samson that you're like, I, I want to strive to do that better? Um, admit that to your group and figure out what does it look like to make sure that happens and it's not just something we say, it's something that we actually do. Um, groups, that is it for content this week. If you have got some time to dig, in, dig a little bit deeper, uh, take some time to look at the Old Testament so far. As far as we've been, um, we've been moving through it very quickly. But one thing that I love the most about the Bible is that it is one story. And it is so important to look back over and remember that this what comes after each other? Like where, now that we're done with Judges, where have we been? Um, refresh yourself on portions of the scripture that we've been. So as we continue to get deeper in it, you don't forget about the fathers that came before, right? Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, how we got to this point from them is very important and very helpful when looking at the scripture. So take some time uh, to refresh your memory on that. Otherwise, we will see you for one last week coming up. Um, and until then, I hope you guys have a great week.